In this clip I catch a shark that had never been seen on camera before. Now, in River Monsters we are fairly used to setting ourselves fairly ambitious targets, but I think this was possibly the most ambitious. Yeah, that's, that's something. Coming up. What was interesting about that catch, the fish was foul hooked, it wasn't hooked in the mouth. So I was using something called a circle hook. The reason it's called a circle hook is because the point is actually bent right back round in a circle, so it's pointing towards the shank of a hook, and somehow this had hooked up on this fish's fin. I was very worried that was just going to come adrift. I mean, luckily, I'm always very particular in making sure that my hooks are very sharp, and so I think the fact that I had a really good point on that meant that it had a good hold. When we saw it in the water, we thought we had what we were after. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. But there was that moment where we've got to try and grab it by the tail and hope that we get it in the boat safely. Is this a positive idea on this, then? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, fantastic. It was a moment of disbelief. Have we really done this? Have we managed to intentionally catch one of these things, which is normally just, you know, the few that have been caught before have just been accidental and nobody really knew what they were. One thing we do from time to time, we collaborate with scientists, and this was also an example of that. My role is normally to get hold of a specimen which they can then work on, and that will include taking DNA, maybe looking for parasites, and also fitting a tag very often so that if it turns up again, we've got information about growth and movement, that kind of thing. Uh, the disadvantage in this case of working with a team of scientists and also the fact that the fish was so rare meant that we had a very, very short time to actually look at the fish when it was out of the water. Because it was back in the water so quickly, I was very much left with this feeling almost of disbelief. It's, it's uh, you know, did that really happen? Did, did we really get to see this fish and luckily the, we have the clip, we have the evidence that was a Glyphus shark, very, very rarely seen out of the water.